If you're looking to buy any Ultimate Team Coins, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MuleFactory.com. They're literally the cheapest place to buy coins on the internet. You'll have a 5 minute delivery time, 24 7 support, and also make sure to use my discount code IHAS5 for a 5% off. What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to find your own sniper filters whenever, all of the time, so you guys can get your own filters, make a load of coins because nobody else is using your own personal filters, and it'll help you guys out in the long run. So if you want more coin making guys, training methods, sniper filters, things like that from me, make sure to drop a like on this video, can we shoot for over 700 likes on this one, I know it's been a while since I've done a video like this, I'll have a player of the month video out soon about some investing stuff, but now let's get into it. So you can literally snipe any play you want on the market if you wanted to. Say I could pick up, I don't know, I could just search Messi, try and snipe Messi. I could search, I don't know, Martial, try and snipe him. But those aren't really the best filters. The best filters, you want those low rated gold cards, silver cards and bronzes, which are going for loads due to the squad builder challenges. So usually the best way to do this is actually look at the live challenges because those are like the limited ones, the ones where players are price fixed. But however, there aren't always live challenges like player of the month. That's quite old, it might not be working too well. These marquee matchups do run out. However, there are new marquee matchups tomorrow, I believe. So you could do this method for tomorrow. So all you need to do is head onto the challenge and then look at the requirements for each of the teams. And you want to sort of look at the lower teams, which could be easily priced. So we have here, Dortmund versus Monaco. They're big teams. The players' prices could go up, but they may not be price fixed. And then the requirements here, you could look, see, you could snipe Dortmund players, Monaco players, players from the Bundes, Ligue 1. And then if we look at this one, Bayern, Real Madrid players is fine. But this is probably the better game or these one of these two matches. Because there's a Celta Vigo versus KRC. So here the requirements you need two players from both of the clubs minimum, two Belgian players, two players from La Liga. So those are just four sniping filters you could do straight off the bat. But now if you actually look at the formations, this can give you extra filters. As you can see here, you need camps and CDMs. So you can search CDM, La Liga Santander, Belgian, for example. And usually, position-wise, the most expensive positions are usually left back and right back, or left mid and left mid, then centre back, so basically the defence, then the midfield, and goalkeepers and strikers aren't really worth too much usually for sniping. So I'm going to get my own filter now. I'm going to search La Liga, Belgian, because those are two of the requirements, and just defender, because you need four defenders in the squad. I'm going to see if that's a good sniper filter, try it out, and that's just a quick example. I actually missed one thing, you need to check the rating. So as you can see here, overall rating is min 70. So this filter would be silvers, but mostly probably gold cards or non-red gold cards. But for some of the other challenges, when there's a lower rating like this one, gold players free, but there's no rating requirement, you could be using bronzes and silver cards. So look at the rating to understand which quality of player you want. So as you can see, this was the filter I was thinking about, however, when I press search, there aren't actually any players on FIFA which fit this. So we know there's no defenders. But we could just take out Defender and just go to any and then have a search to see what players we can pick up. So just looking through the cards, we have Masonda here, we have Carrasco, Bogonda, and like these are just a couple of cards we could pick up which meet these requirements. So then once you've done that, you need to find the minimum buy now of your like set filter. So as you can see here, 1.1k is the minimum buy now of my filter. The cheapest player is Bogonda, but we can actually pick up the more expensive players. So Basically, we want to sell our cards for 1,000 coins. The buy nows will be different with your sniping filters. You just need to check this for yourself. Then you need to know what the EA tax is because EA take 5% off every sale. So if I sell a card for 1,000 coins, I only actually get back 950 coins. There's like calculators and stuff online if you need help working it out. So then it's like how much profit do you want to make per card. So usually I say about 100 coins minimum per snipe where you can get better deals. Other than that, so I'm going to search 850 here. And then once you've got this, that's your sniping filter. You just get sniping and start making profit. It's really that simple. It might take a while for you guys to find like a decent filter. Usually I recommend the cards need to be near 1,000 coins roughly for it to work, especially if it's a gold card because then you're not going to be making much profit if the cards were only worth about 600 coins. And if the EA servers weren't so slow, I'll try and get you guys a live snipe for this video. Well, the EA servers are so, so slow today. Look, I press search. Okay, that one searched. I'm um, okay. I get a couple search, but look, it's just a performing search and it takes so long to search. I can't even snipe right now. I would actually try and show you like a sniping, like picking the card up, but it's taking me about a minute to search each time on the market. It's just not happening at all right now. With the servers of social right now, I can't even really snipe, but I'll show you another me like finding a sniping filter. So you want to head back over to SPCs. If there are no live ones, just go on all and look at the latest ones. So here we have the Bundesliga and the Championship ones. 
you, say we take a look at the Bundesliga. So you can pick up any of these teams and you can see here, so Augsburg here, you need 11 players from that team, minimum rating 73. So you wanna go for players from this team that are gold. And it's this formation again. So here, defenders, right backs, left mids, cams, CDMs. We can take a look at so We wanna look at Augsburg, gold players, and then any position or maybe just the whole squad in general. So if we search the whole squad, as you can see, there's cards less than 850 coins, so probably won't be the best filter. Now, if we look at the defenders, there are no gold defenders under 850 coins. As you can see, the minimum price for a defender is about 950 coins, 900 coins there, you can see one card. So for this Augsburg, I'm gonna search about 800 coins and then try and attempt to snipe one. Again, we'll be making about 50 coins profit, uh, well, probably about 70 coins profit after the tax. You guys can work it out for yourself. You might wanna search like 750 with this filter, but then again, you just go and get sniping. And if the EA servers were working a lot better, it would be a lot easier for me. I will try and get one life sniper this video. As proof that these methods that you find yourself, they do actually work. This is usually how I find methods for the videos that I show you guys. Here we go, and 700 coins on Hintinger. We picked them up, and that is an easy life snipe for this episode. We picked them up for 700. I'll list them at about 850 coins there. He should sell on like that. Quick profit, and that is how you find your own sniping filters and make profit. So on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope it helped you guys out so you can find your own sniping filters. And now I won't be asked 100 times a day, where's some new sniping filters? I will still bring you guys when I find some crazy filters, but now I won't have to tell you guys every day updating me with some new offers. But thank you for watching again. I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you on my next video.